Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing things a little bit differently than my regular scheduled makeup and self tanner kind of videos. Um, a while back, I guess three months ago at this point, I filmed a video right after I got my rhinoplasty done. So we're at the three month mark. We just passed it a couple days ago actually. So I wanted to give you guys a little update on my nose and kind of how things have been, how things are healing. So that's what today is gonna be. Make sure to stick around just to hear my experience and kind of how things are going. But before we do get into that, please you guys make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. If you want more and more updates about rhinoplasty, things like that, or anything to do with makeup or self tanning, then definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel. It just really helps me out. You get lots of videos out of me, so please don't miss out, subscribe. But if you wanna hear my three month update on my nose, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right guys, so like I said, we are at three months now at this point, just over three months with my new nose. So I guess, where do I even start? I like took little notes on my phone to just go over certain things that I want to go over about it. Sorry, my cat's in the background distracting me. If she comes in, I'll show you guys her so she can make an appearance. But um, yeah, I took some notes here so I could just like go over little points that I wanted to talk about. But before I do, I'm just going to give you guys like a little close up. So here is my nose from the front. I know I have makeup on, but just so you get an idea. And here is from the side. And here is from the other side. This was my bad side. Which I don't know if it still is my bad side or if it's my good side or if both are good or bad. <laughs> I don't know. But okay. So I like have things in my little notes and I'm not going to go in any kind of order. I'm really just going to start like saying what I want to say. So swelling. I know the last video that I made was literally like the day leading up to surgery, the day of, and then every day for the next seven days just vlogging the experience, which also if you have not seen that video, go and watch that because that was so much fun to film and do a little vlog. I really need to do a few more of those because I enjoyed that a lot. But go watch that to see like the first initial and getting my cast off and everything. But um, so swelling wise, oh my God, you guys, the first, well, of course the first week after getting my cast off, oh, here's my cat, um, before or after getting my cast off, it was swollen. I'm gonna show you guys a picture on my phone just so you could see like how swollen it was. Like I swear I got my cast taken off and I came home and I really didn't even want to film that portion, like the last portion of that video, because I was so insecure about the way that it looked. Like it was, you could definitely tell it was swollen. And I had mentally prepared myself for that. I would say if you're someone that's going into a procedure like this, I would like watch videos and stuff and just educate yourself and get yourself prepared for some of this stuff before going in. And I'm so glad that I did that because I watched so many videos of people saying after they got their cast off, they absolutely hated it, but it's like a trust the process kind of thing. So, you know, like when you go on a doctor's Instagram page and you see like the before video of like what their nose looks like before and then like the after video of when they get their cast taken off and it looks like absolutely perfect. That I guess is not the case for a lot of people like, that like those are the kinds of videos i guess that get posted um when they have someone that doesn't swell a ton i definitely swelled up though and i'm really glad that i watched other people's experiences and listened to how other people talked about that because i really really did not like how it looked afterwards like <laughs> i was in a bad mood the rest of the day because i was like oh my god i hope this goes down but here is a picture of me sorry about the lights, right before, or right after I got my cast taken off. So this was as soon as I got back to my mom's house. So that was my nose 
from the front. Like you can see just especially from the sides how wide it was and how swollen it was and just like up here too. And then here is from the side, like look at that you guys and look at it now. Like just look at that comparison. And then my bad side, here's what it looked like right after getting my cast off and here's what it looks like now. So I don't know about you guys, but I feel like there is a definite difference between getting my cast off and this point. I will say just swelling wise, I definitely feel like I still have a ways to go. Like I think they say, well, the surgeon that did my nose had said after about six ish weeks, the bridge swelling should go down and then the tip swelling should go down in about six months. I have heard a bunch of other people say otherwise, like it takes up to a year for everything to kind of settle down. And I am like <laughs> choosing to believe that a little bit because I do feel like I still look swollen. And I feel like when other people see me, they also say, because I never had like a wide nose from the front. I feel like I always had a very narrow nose from the front and I could still visibly see like around here. I don't know if you guys can, but I can. I feel like it still looks and feels swollen on the sides. So I'm still waiting for this to kind of go down a little bit and I'm gonna ask him at my next appointment. I'm going to see him, I think, I wanna say in a little less than two weeks, just for my like three month follow up. And then another thing that I'm hoping is gonna go down is like right here. And then my tip has definitely gone down in swelling, but it definitely is still swollen. Like, especially when I go like this, I feel like it's still not like the shape it needs to be. Like it looks like a little peanut. And then the other thing that I wanna point out is, I don't know if you guys could see it, but I feel like my nostrils look uneven still and that was a big issue for me before surgery so i'm gonna have to ask about that and see but this one looks longer and thinner and this one looks shorter and wider so those are just like a couple of things that like when i stare at my nose i'm still noticing and i'm like i don't love how it's looking on me so it hasn't been like this amazing super smooth process like i feel like i'm definitely still like looking at things and i'm like oh is this gonna change or is this not gonna change so i still have a lot of questions too about everything um numbness because i know just like after surgery you get numb in this area like it you can't feel it I will say at this point, it's been about three months now, and I feel like I've gotten most of the feeling back in my nose. Like, I feel like it's still not 100% there, but I could feel it. Like, I feel like I wanna say maybe a month, a month and a half after surgery, there was like one day where I randomly got this weird feeling in my nose, and then I realized like, oh, my feeling is coming back in my nose. So it was like a very distinct moment for me, but I'm really, really glad. I know with some people, after rhinoplasty they weren't able to like smile all the way or like do this but i feel like i was able to do that at every point like even right after surgery and it didn't really hurt for me to do that which brings me into pain so this operation procedure whatever you want to call it was not painful for me at all you guys like i cannot believe how painless this was like I had mentioned in my last video, the worst pain for me was in my throat. Like I got a bad, like, I don't want to call them like sores, but they were kind of like sores on my uvula from like the breathing tube that they stuck down there. So that was very, very painful. Cough drops really, really help. I would ask your doctor if you're getting the procedure done about it because if you have a similar issue cough drops saved me and gargling salt water like those two things really really alleviated the pain so much because it was just so bad but the nose itself did not hurt whatsoever like i would go through that kind of a procedure a hundred more times because it really just was so not painful at all like it literally did not feel like someone just went in and like broke my nose and like shaved things down and rearranged things in there like it really was just not painful 
I was just tired after the anesthesia. I got nauseous from the anesthesia and that was like the worst of it, but pain wise, none in my nose and even to this day like I could like touch my nose I know I feel like a lot of people after this kind of a thing are like scared to touch their nose or do anything but I feel like I'm like almost pretty much back to normal with like skincare and like applying to my nose and things like that like it really does not hurt to touch it's just it's there now you know the only thing that does kind of get uncomfortable like I cannot like push my nose up like if you're someone that like does this and like pushes their nose up when it's like runny or like likes to like wipe your nose like this when you blow it or something I'm not but if you are it you can't really do that like it's like very stiff and I feel like you're gonna mess something up if you do so I do not like I don't mess with this under here you know and it's also still very like swollen around here so I'm not gonna mess with that at all. Um, wearing glasses and sunglasses, I still do not. I wear contacts every day and normally before this procedure, I would wear like glasses before bed and things like that. And I am at three months and I still have not put my glasses on and he told me after six weeks it would be fine but I just haven't because I'm like nervous I'm a very paranoid person and I just really don't want to mess anything up I don't want any like indentation marks permanently right there which I know would not happen but me just being in my head all the time I would definitely make that story up in my head so I have not worn glasses or sunglasses at all since getting my cast off I saw some comments on my last video like asking me why I was wearing my glasses on my cast like on top of my cast right after surgery because some people were saying they were told like they couldn't my doctor that did my procedure told me that I could so I did I took his advice I listened to what he told me and I did because I you guys I'm blind without my glasses or my contacts like I cannot see without them like everything is blurry I'm nearsighted and it is bad it's not fun I literally kept telling myself I was like I wish I got LASIK before I did this because that was the worst part for me like I felt like I I was wearing my glasses on top of my cast but it was like almost kind of distorted because like they're not sitting right on top of my nose like they normally would they were sitting on top of a cast so my glasses were kind of like pushed up and out a little bit and I almost felt like it was like distorting the way things looked a little bit so it was giving me a little bit of a headache so I would like take them off put them back on take them off put them back on and I was like trying to not wear them so much so that that wouldn't happen and I was like nervous that they were like resting on top of like my just operated on nose so I would like try to keep them off for periods of time and I couldn't wear my contacts at this point because my eyes were very very swollen so I couldn't put my contacts in so I would just like not be able to see for a little bit and that was like the most annoying part of it all but he told me I could wear glasses and not to wear contacts for the first like few days while the swelling was going down so that's just what I listened to and that was why obviously ask your doctor whoever is doing your procedure all of these questions and don't just take all this from me this is just my experience um I do have a follow-up appointment like I said in the next like week or two just to kind of see how things are looking I'm gonna ask him some questions like about swelling and stuff because I am still curious and about like my nostrils and stuff because those things I definitely am curious about um like I had said about the swelling just in general he said about six months for the whole thing to kind of heal and for the swelling to go down but I've heard so many people online say about a year for the whole swelling to go down so we'll see what it looks like at six months I'll probably do another like follow-up video for you guys at that at that point so that you could see where we're at and if there's a difference between now and then and yeah but I'm just hoping it goes down a little bit more because I do I don't know if it's like in my head you guys let me know too like I definitely do love this shape a lot more than before and this has given me so much more confidence like when I tell you this procedure to me like I had mentioned in my last video was pretty much just cosmetic like I did he told me I had a deviated septum 
and he fixed it for me while he was in there but I really just did this because I didn't like my nose and I wanted to change it and I wanted to change it before my wedding next year so that's what I did and I'm so so happy that I did because I already feel so much more confident like I don't feel self-conscious when someone's looking at me from a profile anymore like I just feel so much more like comfortable in my own skin now because this was always a huge huge insecurity for me just growing up and everything and I'm just happy for myself that I was able to do something about that not saying that you guys need to go out and do procedures or surgeries or anything like that if you're happy with yourself if you're comfortable with yourself amazing but I'm also all for if there's something that you don't like about yourself and you can and you want to change it why the hell not? And I just, I feel so much more confident in myself now and I feel really, really good about my nose and I feel like it fits my face and everything. So I am really happy about it. I obviously still have some questions that I wanna ask about swelling and things cause I am still healing and I need to remind myself of that because I constantly just think that I'm like back to normal and that's not really the case at this point. It's only been three months. It's only been three months since I've had surgery and I need to keep telling myself that and I'm still trusting the process and we'll see what this thing looks like three months from now. I think I'm going to do another progress video in like at the six month mark. So I will do that at six months and then we'll see from there. I'll let you guys know like what he said at this appointment that I'm going to be going to. Also, please, you guys, I want to do a Q&A and just answer any questions that you guys have about the process, about the surgery itself, about recovery, anything that you guys have questions about, comment and let me know and I will like compile all the questions together and I'll make a Q&A because I feel like that would be fun, especially if you're like thinking of doing something like this or you're like preparing to and you have a lot of questions. I'm more than happy to answer everything that I can. So comment me any questions that you guys have and I will include those in there. But that is it for today. That's all I've got. Take one more good look at my nose. I'm happy. I am very excited and proud of myself and glad that I did this. And I'm like, at this point, I can't believe it's been three months already. So that is crazy. But yeah, comment and let me know whatever questions you guys have, any comments. Be nice as usual. So yeah, comment, give this a big thumbs up and please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.